Thanks for dropping into this week's edition of Michigan Chronicle News. Now, I'm digital anchor Andre Ash. Time to jump into some of the top stories trending on our website this week at michiganchronicle.com. Well, why are some teens so angry? Well, according to experts, the ripple effect of the pandemic is still creating problems that are impacting young people at an alarming rate and making them more anxious, upset, and then some. Today's youth are in trouble and Pretty much in other words, according to national reports, they are facing high rates of depression and suicidal thoughts, causing them to lash out in unexpected ways. Well, Black America is back to work. According to President Biden, he declared that this is a, well, the most robust jobs report in modern history. Take a look here at this. The economy created 467,000 jobs in January. And the unemployment rate for black workers fell to about 6.9% and dropped to 5.8% for African-American women. The president said the 6.6 .6 million jobs added to the U.S. economy in the year since he took office. He also acknowledged the struggles that many African-American uh, families still face, noting that prices have increased sharply during the pandemic. Well, time to wish this Detroit queen a happy birthday. Take a look here at this story. Volunteers of America, Michigan, a service or social services organization and one of the state's largest providers of affordable housing to seniors celebrated one of its residents 100th birthday. I love it. The nonprofit commemorated Miss Julia Taylor, a Detroit resident with a community celebration at Oak Village Square Apartments recently. Miss Taylor wearing a birthday queen sash and purple tiara set in front of a 100th birthday backdrop flanked by balloons for her big birthday celebration. We love it. Getting to the paper, time to check out some of the top stories we're working on in this week's newspaper edition of the Michigan Chronicle. And joining us to talk more about that is our staff writer, Sherry Kalade. Sherry, it's good to see you this week. Thanks, Andre. It's good to be seen. Absolutely. So our pancakes and politics season has arrived and we're announcing a brand new expansion of our uh, Overdrive series. Talk to us about what Overdrive means. Yeah, so this is a fun new series that came out of the pandemic because there were a lot of virtual events and not too many in person, but now we're combining the best of both worlds with not only our um, flagship Pancakes and Politics in-person series, but this is a bonus um, curated content series of in-person interviews for our very own from our very own studio 1452 and it's just going to be great we're talking about the economy we're talking about like new businesses we're talking about all types of things and it's just the sky's the limit so that's coming soon bringing more people into the room both virtually and also marrying that relationship with our flagship um, packets and politics so if you're not able to, to be in the room for pmp or even if you are you're able to get more of an extended version of pmp that extends into our overdrive so we love that and that's going to be curated uh, from our pancakes and politics season really throughout the year right exactly and that season is april 1st or excuse me it's, it's just april through june we love it all right so you got this other dope story uh in the paper this week where you're talking with a new black owned a new black owned business that is opening in new centers an apparel business right Quote yeah, it, exactly it's um apparel it's perfumes it's colognes it's everything that you could actually imagine and what you'll wear from like the detroit angle it's called drayson fashion and it's in the new center area and it's just it's a lot of interesting things there it's a, it's actually a couple who's leading this change and their names are andre sanford and gloria so they have a lot of new things and it's exciting and from local black um collaborators who are doing big things in the fashion world i love that fashion mm -hmm. and it almost seemed like a, a one-stop shop for everything you need yeah. for your <laughs> clothing <laughs> you said perfume and cologne perfume cologne purses they have shoes they have like just a whole i went inside the store and it was it was beautiful really I love that. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, people can check out both of those stories and a whole lot more of your stories 24-7 at MichiganChronicle.com and also pick up this week's newspaper edition. Sherry Collade, thanks for joining us and always getting to the paper. Yep. Thank you, Andre. I appreciate it. What's up, y'all? My name is John A. and I was a 2016 SWAG awardee. I interned with the bank and I am now a full-time employee at Huntington Bank. Now, the Michigan Chronicle and Huntington Bank 7th Annual Swag Awards are back. Now, there is a lot of cash for you all to access. 15 scholarships ranging from $2,500 to $25,000. And I'm here to give you some tips. 
Now look, I got three tips for you all. Tip number one, you wanna make sure you write a compelling essay. You may be thinking, how do you do this, right? Now you do this by telling your unique story about what makes you you and how you are a leader. Now number two, you wanna make sure you get a recommendation letter from a high school coach, teacher, counselor, basically anyone that really knows you well and can tell us about how great you are as a person. Now number three, you wanna make sure you get your transcripts in before the deadline. And this year, the SWAG Awards are allowing you to have a video recording. Now this will allow us to see your beautiful face and of course, get to know you a little bit better, but it is not required. Now the deadline for the application is April 1st, so do not be late. Now you can access the scholarship at michiganchronicle.com slash swag awards. Y'all, let's get this money. All right, so you heard it. April 1st is the deadline to apply. Go to michiganchronicle.com slash swag awards uh, for your opportunity if you're a Detroit High School senior to apply um, for this opportunity. April 1st is the deadline, as you heard, and that is no April Fool's joke. Uh, well, coming up, my interview with Cash Dow, you'll see right here on News Now. But first, uh, there are so many Detroiters who are trying to make it through some challenging economic times and uh, we hit to the streets to get the pulse of the people take a look from the higher prices at the grocery store to the cost of fixing a damaged tire we hit the streets to get the pulse of the people and to get detroiters take on the issues impacting them it's gonna be pretty hard to get to work in a minute you know if you're only making ten dollars in, in an hour or 12 an hour you got to put half of that in the gas tank every day yeah. something wrong Rico is a meat producer in the Eastern Market District. He's taken notice of the economic inflation and rising costs of almost everything. A 40 pound chicken, 48, 50 dollars, maybe 80 tops. Now the, the price of a 40 pound chicken costs 146, 160. So everything is going up like, you, like we said earlier, but it's up for the pay. From the added cost of fuel up to how the chorters get around, the pinch is hitting the pocketbook where the tires meet the road. This is my third time in three years where on my way to work, I've hit a pothole and been sitting on the side of the road. Gas prices and the damn roads, the holes in the roads. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah, it's uh, wear and tear on my car along with the insurance. Sometimes I don't even go certain places because I don't want to deal with the damage on the roads. I don't want to pay a thousand dollars out of pocket to, uh, to make a repair that uh, I would, I'd be more than happy to pay $500 in additional taxes so that I don't have to pay $1,000 for my car. And despite less COVID pandemic restrictions, most Detroiters we spoke with don't see a return to normal. Instead, they see and feel the high cost of living hitting close to home. Uh, inflation is a concern of everyone. Uh, Detroiters most definitely because if we can't afford our gas, if we can't afford, you know, certain necessities to pay for, uh, I think the priority would have to be in uh, budgeting and economic uh, financing uh, of the state and also of balancing the budget of certain cities. Food, uh, meat, everything is going up. So I think that should come down if possible. Hopefully it can because even for the working people, it's kind of hard to afford you know, going to the grocery store all the time. In Detroit, Andre Ash, Michigan Chronicle. Well, Cash Dow hit the music industry with force and continues to elevate her career. I got a chance to catch up with her as we talked about her role on the Stars show BMF and also her favorite restaurant spot in the D. Take a look. You know what, to actually perform on 313 Day at the Pistons game halftime is just like, a dream come true so I'm just excited and just happy to you know be able to watch my moment you know unfold and live in it you know what I mean sure. yeah when you announced you know when you gave your baby announcement it was right in center court with the Pistons so tell me what that relationship has been like you know what they always supported me I threw my baby shower at the facility yeah. you know I did the um the picture in the middle of the court and I just appreciate it because you know when you little you look at the basketball team and they're like so big and it's like for you to be able to even contact and be in the same facility, it's like, man, this is crazy. So it let me know I'm on my job. You play the role of Monique, uh, Monique okay. in uh, BMF. Uh, what has that been like? Monique, she toxic. 
<laughs> she don't know if she want to leave him alone or be with him. And I don't have time to be keep messing with Lamar. You know what I mean? So it's just like Monique is realistic, though. She's a Detroit girl. She's realistic. This is what goes on in real life. She just put it on the screen. So anybody that don't relate, they're fake. <laughs> Period. And finally, what is your favorite spot in Detroit when it comes to food? Oh, my God. I know what it is. What is it? Hold on. My niece says she know. Probably, it's probably Chick-fil-A or... Chick-fil-A. Chick <laughs> my turn. Um, <laughs> Probably... <laughs> Either I like hash browns, Joe Muir's, Sweetwater. That's Chick Fil A. And money said Chick Fil A, <laughs> so that's what it is. <laughs> and that's all the time we got here. Thanks so much for watching News Now. Check us out for news and stories anytime at MichiganChronicle.com and our weekly newspaper edition out every Wednesday as well. Follow us on social: Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Michigan Chronicle. And we'll see you back here next week at the same time. Michigan Chronicle News Now.